Hi, this is Kai from Kikai Craft, and as a lot of you know, I just started with my fountain pen journey late November, early December of 2022, and as I went into it, I got in back into journals again. And this year is my first ever year to order straight from the Hobonichi store from Japan. So I'm going to unbox what I got from Hobonichi and I'd like you to come and join me. All right, so you've had a little bit of a sneak peek as to what I got from the Hobonichi store uh, last 1st of September. I actually got two packages because for some reason, for my neck of the woods, I can only get five items at a time. So my original seven items actually became 10 simply because I had that limit. Um, and so what did I get? I do want to have a look through and then I'll unwrap them for you and I'll talk a little bit about why I chose them and what I am going to use them for. Maybe a little bit of uh, its uh, history or its inspiration as well. Okay, so I got myself two weeks for this coming year. Uh, one of them is in the uh, sneaker raspberry uh, weeks mega and the other one is in the colors lavender weeks mega and if you get the uh, sneaker weeks you will see this is the packaging that it comes in it has stickies to help you instead of the bookmarks it has this very cute little catalog that is in english wow okay we'll walk you through the different formats that they have so you can see there are a lot of cats this year if it's uh, me just fine I love cats I love me some dogs I have some dogs as well um, but I do have cats for the past few years so this is a very soft um, weeks okay it's very soft I have a um, smooth sweet pink from last year of course it's bulked up because we are nearing the end of the year. Um, this feels a bit softer than this, but I could be wrong because I this is already quite stiff and heavy from use. Uh, so this is going to be mostly from work. I decided to use this because I feel that it is quite light. I'm not planning to do much with this. I think I'm just going to put a cover on it, much like the Eric Sean cover. Um, if not the Eric Sean cover, uh, simply just to make sure that it is uh, secure. I am going to be coming from my Traveler's Notebook, Traveler's Diner. I feel that this is quite heavy with two inserts as opposed to this, uh, though Mecca is also less uh, bulky. I love my Traveler's Diner. I feel that it did, it helped me quite a lot this year, but I want to go just a little bit lighter uh, for this 2024 so I decided to get myself one of these if you open it up this is the English version you'll see that a lot of it is in English and the quotes at the bottom are also in English and you have a whole lot of pages that I'm planning to use for meetings this is going to be for work hence the lighter version of it okay so let's open this one up for you um, this is in the Colors Lavender. This is also January Start. It's mega. And the packaging for this is slightly different in that it doesn't have the stickies. Okay, and oh, okay, wait, let's just have a look at the catalog. Okay, pretty much the same catalog. He's so cute. Okay. Um, I said, ooh, because it's actually feeling very nice already. Ooh, so this is not really as stiff as I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be quite stiff. It is not at all. So if you're wondering about the difference between um, the sneakers, it's very soft. This one 
is still quite soft. I thought it'd be like a hardbound version. It's not. It opens quite nice. Oh, this one has bookmarks. It doesn't have the stickies. It still has that little pocket that you can put in. Mm, yeah, it feels very nice. Makes me think I should have gotten one of these two for my other one. It feels more substantial. They're both in Mega. Hmm. Perhaps for 2025 if this works well for me this year. So I'm not quite sure which one I'll keep for uh, my nightly journaling, which I am currently using this one for. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know once I've made that decision. Okay, so this is the reason why I found a lot of success in using this. I feel that it is compact enough, um, especially to bring around with me for work and all. So I will most probably be using this for work. I feel it right now because it's lighter. And this one has that pretty little number right there so I can use it to sort of document my life. Okay. So those are what I have for my weeks. This is very nice. Okay, and then apart from that, I also got myself a few covers. So my very first A6 cover from Hobonichi is the Champignon. This is a 2019 uh, fabric sort of cover. This is from their World Folk Patterns. This is from Versailles, and if you can see this red bit, it's just a nod to uh, France, which they got this particular pattern from. Okay, and as you can see, this is like my little poetry book. This is where I've collected all the poetry that I've found lying around my drawers and all. It's very pretty with the color. Um, I usually have it in this uh, sleeve. This is the cover on cover, also from Hobonichi. For this year, ta-da, because I am into cats, I thought I would get their uh, Mina Perhonen cover with the Anone Anone. This is how the box looks. Look at that, it's so nice. <laughs> okay, that's all there is in the box. Okay, it looks very pretty. Oh, I love that. Okay, let's open it up so we can all see. So this was my main uh, goal for this year. I really wanted to have this. This is most likely going to serve as like my catch-all for my poetry and also for things that I will be bringing around with me uh, when I need to go somewhere. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not really quite going to use it just yet. So I do want to keep it in. Oh, look at that. So nice. I'm, I, I don't know. I like it. I like its neutral colors. I like the little knot sings here. Okay. It has a little bit of information on the Mina Perhonen brand. So Mina means I and Perhonen apparently means uh, butterfly in Finnish. And I do have a, an affiliation to uh, butterflies. I like them a lot. And so that is quite good. I like the idea of having a little cat cover. I am considering storing away my champignon and using this for my poetry because I feel like it'll fit quite nicely. So this was my main thing because, you know, cats. But I also, because I needed to, I felt like I needed to add more, I went ahead and I got the little gifts in A6 as well. This is also very pretty. See, there's a cat there, which is the reason why I thought I'd get one of these. So this was quite cute. Let me just, ooh, this feels very like, like a velvety sort of cloth. The ends of these, okay, the ends are just plain. There's nothing like fancy on them. They're like just ribbons, like my weeks. This pocket looks very cute. It has a little cat that comes with it. Oh, it's very nice. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. I feel like I could like look at it and have something to admire. To 
be honest, when I first saw this, I already loved it and I was having a tricky time deciding between this one and this one. So I thought, you know what, I really, really want this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the folders. And so I got these um, in my first order with this one. Um, sorry, this, I think, my first order with this one. But then uh, when I had to take my second order, I thought uh, I would get one of these. And that was kind of lucky because I saw that they did run out of stock uh, for these little gifts. So I feel like that was a very good decision. And now I can have it with all of these. Okay, I just realized now, same print for this. Um, kind of the same print also for these. That's kind of nice. I'll share, I'll open these in a bit. And inside, like I showed you, this is like some mint color with some black tabs for its butterfly um, like pen insert. And I also got one of these. Now this was a bit of a struggle for me because I wanted to have it. But then again, I was also thinking like what for? But it's for the collection. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I thought it was so cute and so pretty. So this one is the Taro Okamoto uh, Golden Mask in A6. This is uh, based on the Tower of the Sun, a, um, a figure that you can find in Osaka. It was built in 1970 and I just have to tell you this is gorgeous. Look at it. It's black and gold. Let's just have a look at Oh, and look at that. Ah, da -da -da -da. It's so cute. Like seriously, it's very cute. Oh, and it looks like a little chick too. The the cover itself feels very nice to the hands. See that? Oh, the details are just so pretty on this one. It has a little sun there. It has these cards here. Let's see what's in the card. Okay, so oh, it talks a little bit about the artist Taro Okamoto. Hmm. Okay, so there's a lot of information about him in the card. And basically it looks like your regular card, uh, your regular cover. Ooh, this is like a soft satiny fabric. It's very nice. I do want to see, I know, I know the site said it most likely won't fit on their cover on cover, but I just want to try. Uh, in case anyone else is also interested, maybe you can try with me. I feel a little scared with this particular cover because I feel like this might um, peel off. Okay, but we'll just see. Okay, well, um, it feels a little bit puffy. And maybe ideally, I don't know, it kind of fits though. It kind of fits. Yeah, it does fit. Okay, let's try the other side. So in case anyone is interested, like, is it super thick? Um, well, let me just experiment for you, just so we all can see whether or not it does fit. Okay. All right, so does it fit? Yes, it fits the cover on cover. So if you're interested in getting one of these and having your cover and cover on it, I think that's a good idea, except I'm not so sure about how the plastic on your cover and cover will react with the uh, material for this um, cover. I feel like it's gonna scratch it or something. I'm not so sure though. If any one of you have any experiences with this kind of cover from Hobonichi and have used it with your cover on cover, please share your experience. What I'm planning to do is maybe put in a sheet of vellum between this and the cover when I do use this, just so that I know that they won't rub off on each other and maybe hurt each other in the process. Okay, let's just go ahead and check if this one will work as well. Um, there was information that this won't, but you know, let's just try. No harm in trying this one because it's canvas. So I'm not so scared about um, hurting the cover itself. Okay, well, it seems like it's gonna fit. Let's see. 
Um, okay. No. Oh. Fits perfectly. So I think I'm going to get myself two more of these actually for my, or three more because I need one for my little gifts as well. So yes, in case you were wondering, it fits perfectly well with the Anone, Anone as well. Okay, and of course, um, I'm pretty sure it's going to fit the little gifts by um, Yumi Kitagishi. This is just lovely artwork. Okay, let's just have a look. Okay, this one is like easier to put in, I have to say. Than the other two. Perfect. Yeah, I think I'm going to get maybe three more of these. Just to make sure that my covers are secure. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so I got this um, to maybe replace this. I'm not yet quite sure. I got folders just to match up with my A6 cover. Well, actually, I got these and then I got uh, this. Okay, I, I, I felt like it was such a good idea for me to suddenly decide to get this because it went out of stock. If I'm not mistaken, the uh, um, Taro Okamoto is also currently out of stock. So I think that was a good buy as well. It's so cute. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. And on the other side, so cute. Okay, now will they fit in here? I did see somewhere they would. Yep, perfect. That's kind of really cool. All right, so that's that for these. I also got um, cover on cover um, because I didn't really know which one I wanted for my weeks. If I wanted this one, I wanted an Eric Sean one, which I have because I love Eric Sean. Give me a second. Tita. So. Yeah, so I don't know if I can find another Eric Sean, that would be good. If not, maybe I'll just get another plain one and see how I can, um, how I can like add one. Oh no. Okay, there's just a little bit of a mark there. Oh, that's a little sad, but that's okay. Because when you put this cover on and yeah, I, I, I can live with that, I think. Um, and this one, I just wanted to double check when it starts in case anyone is interested because i was so this runs from um okay so months wise it comes from december and it runs all the way to uh, march and it starts end of november and december i was hoping it'll be like october because i kind of want to move into this already um if you're going for this, I just want to make sure to check if it comes like the same. Yeah, starts end of November, first week of December. But it runs all the way to, um, let me just check for you, all the way to December. Oh, no, should be a bit more than that. Mm, yeah. November and the first week of January. I also wanted to see the back pages. Almost forgot to double check that. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so the back pages, sorry, it's a little messy, but fine. So ways how you can measure things. It has your favorites pages. It has your list of 100 things of whatever you want to list. And then there's an interview with myself if you want to write stuff down mm, what else does it have oh it has some recipes <laughs> that's interesting and it has some sort of a checkoff sheet for the year that's fun and a few pages for um, I suppose important addresses that you want to put in 
Okay, it has a lot of pages, which I feel would be very good for memory keeping and for the uh, office, it'd be very good for me to put in my notes. Okay, um, I would uh, assume it's the same thing here, but let's just go ahead and check. Exactly the same thing. Yep, exactly the same thing in that part and in the end. Um, okay, it has using things around you to measure. It has your favorites, uh, your 100, and your interview with yourself. And also some recipes that you might want to try, a checkoff sheet and a page for addresses that you might want to put in. Okay, so roughly the same bit of information. Okay, that was a little sad. I'm pretty sure I didn't cost that. Okay, um, and then last but not the least, I also got myself some book bands because I thought that if I were going to lug these things around, I would want book bands to go with them. Uh, currently, for the one I have for this year, I'm using a book band that I got from an Eric Cohen um, planner that I had. Okay, that's cat hair. And the plan, of course, is to have this and, okay, put them around the notebooks just so, so they can stay close and I can lug them around. It's also like a pen pencil band, so you can put a pen or a pencil right there. Okay, I have to say that this one, as much as it's a very nice cover, I feel like it gets easily like dirty. Like I have to quickly put a cover on cover for this. Okay, so I'm gonna share my lineup again. There's nothing really to share. There's gonna be two weeks. One is gonna be for work. Another is going to be for uh, memory keeping and nightly journaling at home and then I just have a slew of covers that I thought would be really good to have in my collection. Thank you for, oh wait before I thank you, yes there are two nice freebies to go with my weeks. Lovely sage and brown color. I like them. I'm not really using pens so I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with my pens. Okay, this is Kai from KK Craft. Such a rambling sort of video. Thank you for joining me as I excitedly just unwrapped everything like an early Christmas present. I hope that wherever you are, you're having a great day or a lovely evening. Bye, everyone.